Let's hear it one more time, Mr. Johnny Gates. Your girlfriend dumped me last week. Relationships are hard. It's like a full time job, and we should treat it like one. If your boyfriend or girlfriend wants to leave you, they should give you two weeks' notice. There should be severance pay, and before they leave you, they should have to find you a tent. Anyway, the reason we broke up was because I really wanted to make Valentine's Day special, so I suggested we try something a bit different, so I tied her up. And I spent five hours watching footy. Thank you. I've been Andy Grimes. Last chance, arsehole. It's like a full-time job. We, we should, there should be severance pay, and we should treat it like one. Get off, man! You shit. <laughs> anyway, the, the, the reason we broke up was because um, I really wanted to make Valentine's Day special, so I uh, um, tied her up. Something about tying up and bowling. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, Chris. Save it. I'm sick of all your bullshit excuses. The rest of the land threatened to boycott this place. Now, I've got to slip the real comedians a few quid just to keep them on side. I'm sorry, I'll do better next time. Next time? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking next time. <laughs> now that is the funniest thing you've said all night. The only time I want to see you around this place again Dickhead. When you bring me the five and a quid you want. I don't have that kind of money. Oh, really? Well, yeah, you can sit here drinking and sulk it like a soppy bitch, though. Thanks. Excuse me. Oh. Hi. Hey, you were great. When you sat over there, I thought that lot were going to lynch me. <laughs> See, you are funny. Um, can I join you? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Can I get you a drink? Oh, um, no. I'm okay, thanks. Sorry. Left me in manners at home. What's your name? Oh, it's Grace. I'm Andrew. I know that. Silly. <laughs> oh, why so down, mister? I just thought that were obvious. I think you're being ridiculous. Maybe it was just one of them nights where it's a tough crowd, hmm? Too many of those. I think I need a new career. 
bond up there so often I'm amazed that you and I haven't been in touch. Here. I've done a good career for you, mate. Go on then. At my place. After somebody to do the night shift, I managed the mortuary. <laughs> oh, nothing too taxing. Just doing a few bits and bobs with you dying on stage like you do. I figured you'd be in good company. I'm not sure about that. All righty then. You change your mind though. That's my number. I'm Harry Jackson, by the way. I'm Andrew. Oh no. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm sick of this place. Do you want to go grab a cup of coffee? Uh, do you drink coffee? <laughs> Let's go. from round here then, Grace? Yeah, I've been around here for some time. Do you normally spend your time hanging around clubs and going to late night cafes with my friends? <laughs> yeah, all the time. I like to pick up a stray at least once a week. I see it as a, a community service. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Need that. I could eat a horse. Do you want anything? No, I'm okay, thanks, but you go ahead if you want. You sure? Sorry, mate. I've been at Emma's. Besides, I can't watch you crash and burn again. It's too painful. <laughs> Speaking of pain, I would mean to speak to you. The, the rent is due. That's a clown mate of yours, isn't is he? thought I'd uh, pop round and make sure you haven't forgotten about that cash you owe me. You have remembered, haven't you, Andy? I haven't forgotten. <laughs> Good lad. Let him down, boys. <laughs> Glad we had this uh, little chat. What was all that about? I'll tell you. It would have been in changed me under crackers. Uh, <laughs> Listen, mate. I've got to pop out. Do me a favour and try and stay out of trouble, will you? Yeah, laugh it up. <sighs> Just pay. He's a cock.
Attack. Sorry, Harry. I didn't think you'd actually turn up. Well, I had a think and I figured I'd uh, like to give the job a go if the office still open. Of course. Dressed for the occasion, I see. Come on then, let's show you what it's all about. These are just offices you shouldn't need to go in there. But down here, this is where the stiffs are pretty fine. Did you just call them? Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. And through this door here, this is where the magic happens. First breather out of the way early, eh? While you've got company with a pulse. These are the subjects, obviously. This is our main working area. Oh, fucking hell, are you trying to give me a heart attack? <laughs> Can you cover him over for me? Oh, stop messing about and I'll show you what's what. I've got places to be, you know. I won't have to, you know, cut anything up, will I? No offence, lad, but I hardly think you're qualified for that type of work. Even if you had the stomach for it. No. Just want you to do some admin of our friends here and generally look after the place. Come on. I'll give you the full tour. Grace? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. You? Yeah, it was okay. Tomorrow? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll be there. Okay, cool. Bye. came back then, I wasn't sure you would. Well, you know. I'm ready for home. Not for the missus cooking, mind. That's uglier than what I face here every day. Uh, I've done you some instructions here, just as a reminder. And if you have any problems, don't ring me. I'll see you tomorrow night. See you, Harry. Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't realise anyone was still here.
A woman's mind is cleaner than a man's. That's because she changes it more often. What the fuck? Shut up! What the fuck just happened? Shit. I'm not going to last here. Tell really. Processed a couple of bodies. Sorted. Was it really bad? It's fucking horrible. Thank you. Is that bad? No oh, man. What? I heard something. Something? Mm. Well, like what? Well, something like laughter. Well, not something like I heard laughter. <laughs> what? Yeah, I was sort of ranting to myself and I heard someone laugh. And so I told a gag and the laughter got louder. And then it kept getting louder. Maybe it was a noise from outside. No, it was in the building. Haunted. Maybe. Are you going back though? Don't think so. Andrew, you're being daft. You can't let Harry down and besides, you're hardly in a position to be picky. I guess. If it's all right with Harry, do you want me to come and keep you company tonight? No, I couldn't ask you to do that. Well, seriously, it's no problem. I'm having trouble sleeping in. Are you sure? Well, I mean, it might help. It might. If Harry says no, though, I can't help you. all those faces. It is an essential part of performing, don't you know? I'm aware of that. <laughs> you could do with practising in front of a more accommodating audience. I'd have to pay him. Who in their right mind would come and watch me? <laughs> you are joking, right? Ready-made audience. <laughs> that is wrong on so many levels. Just grab a couple of chairs, a couple of bodies, and give it a go. I mean, who has to know? It's fucking sick. Grace, for fuck's sake! I think we should go. Um, Forget it. Grace, just go. How could you? These are people's mums and dads, brothers and sisters. What the fuck? You're right, of course, Andrew. I'm sorry. Just go. It's okay. I overreacted. It, 
It just seems so immoral. Weird. I understand. I just, I thought it would help. If you can perform in front of a dead audience, you can perform in front of any audience. And, <laughs> well, let's face it, the crowd at the uh, mortuary like a good laugh, it seems. Yeah, maybe. It wouldn't hurt. I don't know, I don't think I can do it to you. Not like you're doing anything bad to them, just talking. I just leave it, Grace. Alright. Well, we're okay, right? Yeah. Don't give up, Andrew. It would be a waste of talent. <laughs> Seriously. If it's something you really want, you should do whatever you have to do to get it. I don't know, Grace. I, I can't handle it. All those people looking at me while I'm on stage. It, it makes me feel queasy just thinking about it. Well, think about my previous suggestion. It might seem wrong, but maybe it is for the greater good. And <laughs> who has to know? Anyway, I have to go. See Andrew. morning. Well, I guess I can, yeah. See you in half an hour. <sighs> Andrew, we need to talk. Um, okay. Now I, for one, love a laugh. We know this to be true. However, I'm going to show you something and I want to know what your thoughts are.
What the bloody hell do you call that? I, well, um... It's the worst dancing I've ever seen. You can't go around torturing bodies. Torture? What? Stand up and really bad dancing is what I call torture. <laughs> I'm going to have to let you go. <laughs> Seriously. This baby is totally unacceptable. Even here. No, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, just I got understand. no choice. I, I can't take the risk and I shudder at the thought of what might come next. This is what you've earned so far. Yeah. Thanks. Well, that's it then. Sorry. Again. Hello, Grace. Yeah, I guess. See you at six. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay, Grace. What are we doing here? No fucking way, I can't. Do you have all the money for Maniac Man yet? Some of it. Well, think about it. You win, and not only does Don Wannabe get his dosh, but you have some left over for, for, you know, stuff. Come on! I've been looking for you. All week, you little scrout. I hope you've got my dosh. <laughs> You're short. By some way, sunshine. I was wondering if maybe I could, you know, enter the competition. <laughs> I, don't, I know what you're thinking, but I mean. What arm can it do? No one else is up there at the mall. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Go for it. I do with a laugh. Never know. I might throw a glass at you this time. But when you lose and you still owe me, I'm coming for you. What do we do now if it bollocks this up again? <laughs> you are funny. Come on. <laughs> okay, well, until the next proper performer arrives. Up next, Andy Grimes. Not you again. Go home, you're a waste of space. How about more sophisticated heckles from corpses with shotgun wounds to the face? I used to work in a mortuary, you know. Well, I was always dying on stage, so it seemed like an appropriate choice of career. Um, <coughs> Seriously, though, it's exquisite how much life there is in an audience of cadavers. It was the best reception I ever got. <laughs> Word my jokes before, right? It's the first time I've stood up here without wondering how to get beer stains out of cotton, you crazy fucks, yeah? <laughs> now then, what I'd love to talk to you about today is, is songs, because we all love songs, don't we? They're lovely. But uh, there's just a couple that annoy me, and I'll tell you for why. There is one song by the Beach Boys called God Only Knows. You know that one, lovely song. But uh, it opens like, I may not always love you, but as long as there are stars above you, you never need to doubt it, I'll make you so sure about it. So basically, if you're in the dark, it's fine. Well, there you go. It's not a love song, is it? To be honest, you like that. Anyway, another one. 
Another song that really, really does get on my nerves, and that's If. You know that one, If. Beautiful song. Unfortunately, it starts out, if a picture paints a thousand words, then why can't I paint you? It's just paint, isn't it? It's got, got nothing to do with it. Something that says, I would like to be able to say, I was a wonderful husband and school teacher who made a real difference in the children of tomorrow. And the third guy says, I would like to hear them say, fucking hell, he's moving! Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.